Hello there. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Kingston Road Streetcar and its counterpart, the Downtowner. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. The origins of the Kingston Road Streetcar can be traced back to the Kingston Road Tramway, which began operating in 1875. The tramway ran between the Don River gravel pits and what is today the intersection of Kingston Road and Main Street. Its primary purpose was to haul supplies for the Toronto Gravel Road and Concrete Company. The tramway, however, would also move passengers as well on the side. In 1878, this tramway would be extended to Victoria Park Avenue. In 1888, with the annexation of Riverdale, the Kingston Road Tramway would cease operations and instead the Toronto Street Railway would begin operating its own service east of the Don River. While streetcar service would make its way to Lee Avenue on Queen Street, service on Kingston Road would seemingly disappear. That is until August 18, 1892, when the Toronto and Scarborough Electric Railway Light and Power Company was formed. On July 1, 1893, the TNSER would begin operating a single track line on the north side of Kingston Road between Queen Street and Blantyre Avenue. The TNSER would very quickly expand its network, first with the construction of a branch line down Blantyre Avenue to the intersection of Queen Street and Victoria Park Avenue. This line would operate only during the summers. They would then open another branch line a year later in 1894, with this one operating north to the intersection of Gerrard Street and Main Street via Walter Street, Lyle Avenue, and Kimberly Avenue. Things were looking up for the TNSER, however, as the years went on, competition from the nearby King Streetcar, operated by the Toronto Railway Company, which itself had bought a controlling stake in the TNSER in 1895, as well as an unlucky accident would have the TNSCR looking for ways to maintain their existence. This would come in 1898 when the company would look to expand its service into the township of Scarborough. With an extension of the line to the Toronto Hunt Club at the intersection of Kingston Road and Warden Avenue. They would also abandon their branch line along Blantyre Avenue and use the tracks from it to help build the extension to Warden Avenue. Two cars would operate the line at roughly 30 minute intervals. On July 12, 1901, the T and SCR would extend its service further into Scarborough with an extension of their line to Midland Avenue. This extension was brought about when the township of Scarborough threatened to cancel the company's franchise if they didn't. The T and SCR was reluctant to construct this extension, however, as at the time Scarborough was still very rural with a small population. On August 1, 1904, the T and SCR would be bought by Sir William Mackenzie and become the Scarborough branch of the Toronto and York Radial Railway. The Scarborough line would receive two extensions in 1905. First, an extension to Bellamy Road on January 23rd, and then a further extension to Markham Road on December 24th. The line would reach its final and ultimate terminus on August 31st, 1906, when it reached Fairwood Crescent in the West Hill neighborhood. In 1912, the TNSER would open Scarborough Heights Park, which was a massive park between Kingston Road and Lake Ontario, stretching from Bellamy Road in the east to Midland Avenue in the west. This park would remain open until 1929 when it was permanently closed and soon after redeveloped. Due to competition from the Toronto Civic Railway's Gerrard Streetcar, the branch line along Walter Street would be closed in 1913 as riders felt the Gerrard Streetcar offered a more direct service into downtown Toronto. With this, the T and SCR would be a single line interurban service operating from Queen Street in Toronto to West Hill in Scarborough. With the creation of the Toronto Transportation Commission and the City of Toronto's purchase of the Toronto and York Radial Railway on August 16, 1922, the T and SER line would be split in two. The TTC would begin operating its own streetcar service along Kingston Road. 
This service, known as the Queen Streetcar, would operate from Rottensvale Car House to Victoria Park Avenue via Queen Street and Kingston Road. This service, however, would only operate during rush hours and midday on weekdays. Evening, weekend, and night service would be provided by the Kingston Road Coxwell Streetcar, which operated from Danforth Loop to Victoria Park Avenue. Interurban service east of Victoria Park to West Hill would continue to be provided by the Ontario Hydroelectric Railway. The TTC would quickly tear up the old single T and SER track and replace it with their own, double tracking the line in the process. On December 2, 1922, the TTC would open a new loop at Kingston Road and Victoria Park Avenue. This loop would be known as Bingham Loop. By 1927, the OHER had five standard gauge streetcars sitting in the Lions car house at Warden Avenue, waiting for the Scarborough line to be regaged to standard gauge. This conversion, however, would never happen. Instead, on January 12, 1927, the TTC would assume control of the former Toronto and York lines, including the Scarborough line. On January 27, 1928, the TTC would begin operating streetcar service to a new loop at Birchmount Road, with cars operating every 12 minutes by November 28. The TTC would double track the line to Birchmount Road to make this service possible. Service beyond Birchmount to West Hill would continue to operate at 30 minute intervals and would continue to do so until 1936, when this interurban service to West Hill was permanently abolished. On February 18, 1929, service on the Queen Streetcar would be rerouted to the newly built McCall Loop, which it would share with the Beach Streetcar. On August 2, 1937, with the merger of the Beach and Lakeshore Streetcars into the new Queen Streetcar, the current Queen Streetcar, the subject of this video, would become the Kingston Road Streetcar. Into the 50s and 60s, service on the Kingston Road Streetcar would change dramatically. First, on July 1st, 1954, when the TTC introduced a new fare zone system. Because of this, service to Birchmount Loop was permanently ended, ending streetcar service into Scarborough for good. With the opening of the Bloor Danforth subway in 1966, the Coxwell streetcar would be abolished, and with it, the evening, weekend, and night service provided by the Kingston Road Coxwell streetcar. To remedy this, the TTC would experiment with running every second Queen streetcar up Kingston Road to Bingham Loop. This experiment, however, was short-lived, and by May 22, 1966, the Queen streetcar would return to its normal route. By the 1970s, the western end of the Kingston Road streetcar had been rooted down King Street, with its terminus changing from Dufferin Loop to Ronsonsvale Car House, before finally settling on a loop via Church Street, Wellington Street, and York Street. On April 2, 1973, the Kingston Road streetcar would be joined by a newly created Downtowner streetcar, which would operate all day, while the Kingston Road streetcar would remain a rush hour only service. The Downtowner would first operate from Bingham Loop to Bathurst Station. This service wouldn't really catch on, as on September 4, 1974, the Downtowner streetcar would be cut back to McCall Loop, with service to Bathurst Station being rush hour only. With the introduction of the CLRV streetcars, the Downtowner streetcar would be given the number 502, and the Kingston Road streetcar would be given the number 503. On March 9, 1984, rush hour service to Bathurst Station by the 502 Downtowner would be ended, and now all Downtowner cars would terminate at McCall Loop. Service along Kingston Road had always been a problem, even with two lines operating on it. This was partially because the two routes were the least used in the network, but also due to the natural congestion of running through mixed traffic in downtown Toronto. By the mid-90s, the 502 Downtowner was operating at 20-minute headways during the day and 12-minute intervals during the rush hour. The 503 Kingston Road was also operating at 12-minute intervals, but the route was still rush hour only at this point. This would result in 6-minute headways during rush hour along Kingston Road where both routes operated. However, outside of rush hour, riders could be waiting up to 20 minutes if they were lucky for a streetcar. 
In the early 90s, when the TDC looked at expanding the streetcar network due to having a surplus of cars, they would examine resurrecting the Coxwell streetcar as it would be the cheapest option. A resurrected Coxwell car would also be able to operate along Kingston Road during the evenings, thus mirroring the old Kingston Road Coxwell streetcar. This, however, never occurred as the TTC felt that Coxwell didn't have the ridership to justify the cost of conversion back to a streetcar line. Into the 2010s, due to track work as well as supply issues due to Bombardier's failure to deliver the city's new Flexity streetcars, the 502 Downtowner and 503 Kingston Road streetcars would find themselves periodically converted to bus operations. On February 18th, 2018, the 503 Kingston Road would become an all-day service, operating from Bingham Loop to Charlotte Loop, while service on the 502 Downtowner remained a rush hour bus service. Streetcars would return to the 502 Downtowner on June 24th, 2018, however the route would remain rush hour only. Due to construction projects between September and November of 2019, the 502 Downtowner would be suspended. However, after construction work ended, the TTC would continue to consolidate service along Kingston Road and service on the 502 Downtowner would remain suspended. By January of 2020, the 502 Downtowner had been delisted from the TTC website, hinting at its possible permanent abolition, ending 47 years of service. In March of 2020, due to a drop in ridership caused by the pandemic, the 503 Kingston Road would be cut back to Woodbine Loop. On May 11th, the route would be suspended and replaced by the 22A Coxwell bus. Streetcars would return to Kingston Road on June 22, 2020 with the line operating from Bingham Loop to Charlotte Loop. The 503 Kingston Road is currently the least used route in the streetcar network. However, there is at least one proposal floating around for an expansion of the line. That being moving its western terminus to Dufferin Loop, replacing the service provided there by the 504A King Streetcar. The 504A would be rerouted to the proposed Park Lawn Loop. The Kingston Road streetcar has a storied history, starting out as a tramway meant to move supplies to becoming an interurban line serving the township of Scarborough. On the topic of Scarborough, the proposed Eglinton East LRT line, if built, would see a portion of the line operating along Kingston Road between Eglinton Avenue East and Morningside Avenue, shadowing a portion of the now long gone and forgotten Toronto and Scarborough Electric Railway. When put on a map, it exposes a gap that is begging to be closed. While highly unlikely, perhaps in some far off future, the 503 Kingston Road could be extended to meet the Eglinton East Line at Eglinton Avenue, thus bringing back the old interurban line and bringing the streetcar back into Scarborough. And with that, I will end the video here.
Thank you for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it and want to see more like it, please hit that subscribe button because there are more like it on the channel, and there are more like it on the way. If there's anything you want to say about the Kingston Road Streetcar, the Downtowner, or the old Interurban Line into Scarborough, don't be afraid to do so in the comments section down below. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.